Top 10 Drills for 5 Finger Claw Some of the drills might work with 4 Finger Claw and 3 Finger Claw and Joystick Drill works for every player, helps to get better with it. So the first drill is aiming for the head. All you have to do is place your crosshair to the target's head and scope in and shoot. And do the same for the next targets. Do this daily for 3 to 4 minutes. Once again, how to aim for the head is by placing your crosshair to head and scope in and shoot. Practice this daily for 4 to 5 minutes to get better with aiming and improves your accuracy. I use gyroscope to aim for the head, sometimes I prefer to use ADS, check my gyro guide if you want to learn. Crouch and fire drill, mostly useful for close range. When you crouch, you should start shooting and, when you stop crouch, stop shooting. Crouch plus fire, and then stop crouch plus stop firing, change your target, and crouch plus fire, and keep repeating this process. Combining the first two drills will give you this result. This took me a lot of time to practice and learn how to do this perfectly, but I still mess up sometimes. First, you need to crouch plus scope to target and start shooting. Crouch plus scope into the target and start shooting and stop shooting plus crouch back, stand. Change to next target immediately this should happen in a fraction of seconds. Crouch plus scope in and then start shooting, crouch back, stand, and change your target. Keep repeating for about 10 minutes this is hard at the beginning, but you'll get used to it. This next drill is also based on previous drills, it's flash gun. First, you should be hiding behind any cover like these. Walls, rock, windows, etc. First, you have should have your crosshair on your target, and then crouch, stand, and scope into the target, start shooting, and after a few seconds stop, and crouch back to your position. Try to do the same thing as fast as you can, you should crouch back to your place in 2 to 3 seconds. This next drill is based on previous drill flash gun. You might have seen this, many players started using this drill. First, you should be in crouch while holding peak and aim towards your target. And now, crouch to stand, change your peak from left to right, and then scope into the target, shoot. Now release the scope and change your peak from right to left and crouch back to your position. Keep holding peak to get a better view from your angle and it's harder for them to spot you. Crouch plus hold peak, now crouch change peak from left to right plus scope plus shoot after crouch back. This should your final results, practice this to achieve the speed of Chinese pro players. This is a combination of three drills. You need to learn basic to do like Chinese pro players. Now this trick is to surprise attack your enemies, there are actually three ways you can do that. Surprising your enemies by jump firing and later crouch firing. Jump by entering and crouch. Now do the same thing, but you need to prone, instead of crouch. Jump and prone, this is most effective. Jump plus prone. Now you need to combine both of them to achieve this. First, you need to jump and crouch, and then prone.
So with the help of these three drills, you can easily do this. Here I'm using TPP to FPP switch. So after jumping, I land back to the ground so I can able to use quick prone with TPP to FPP switch. You can do quick crouch instead of prone by switching to FPP and crouching at same time. When you prone in front of your enemies, they think you got knocked, I know you know this, but this trick still works even now, I died many times by getting fake knocked by prone. Sniper Drill When you scope into your targets, try to use peak left and right, for example. When you peek with left, change it to right peak, so this might save you from getting a headshot if they aiming for your head. I mostly use left peak, so I change to the right when I'm about to shoot, and this also looks cool. And also try to jump every time you snipe this might prevent you from getting shots. By doing this you might improve with your joystick movements. By doing parker or jumping between houses will help you to get better with your joystick. Try making your own things to practice for joystick movements, like jumping around, etc. Do this for like 30 to 40 minutes only once, and then you will automatically get used to your joystick. You can also learn by climbing this. Try to reach to the top as fast as you can. <laughs> Bye, have a beautiful time.
Strange things that happen here, no stranger would it be.